what is the best thing about UMBC? Well, I have to say, I guess I like the diversity. There's a lot, a lot of diversity here, and it's just like, it allows someone like me to blend in, because I tried going to a school in Arizona or Mississippi, and they did not like me there. I walked on campus, and they're just like, dude, step off, step off. But I came here, and they're like, dude, step on, step on. So I stepped on, and I really, really enjoyed it. You realize I'm looking for a serious answer here. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> <laughs> The best thing about UMBC is... Um, I think the best thing is probably the people. I guess I would say the people I've met so far. It's, you know, so cool to like meet people through like organizations and through classes, you know, that have similar interests with you. Um, I mean, everything else just seems like, hey, yay, it's college, this is fun. But like, this is actually, but that part has been what sets it apart. I think the best thing about UMBC is probably the opportunities you have. Like, I work in athletics communications doing broadcasts, and I've seen other schools, how they work, and I've, this is not my first university, but I've noticed when I came here, there were a lot more opportunities to work on campus. Is they have a very high quality education. You're learning from some of the best and working people in the field. Well, the best part for me personally, I would have to say, would be I love UMBC's Filmmakers Anonymous. I'm currently the treasurer of that club, and it's really, really fun. We watch movies, we do stuff, but it's where I can actually integrate myself. It's where I got friends, where we have common interests. Um, UMBC probably has one of the most in-depth visual arts programs. And the cage is nice. They've got like great equipment. I think some. I think probably the worst thing about the university. Poor people. Some of the dorms, uh, basically the ones that actually require you to swipe everywhere. I am all for security. But in Harbor Hall, you need to swipe to get into the building and then swipe to get onto your wing. But it, it takes away from the ability to meet other people. Just going on what I've seen so far, I would have to say that the worst part is that you have to actually drive somewhere or hop a bus somewhere and then of course you have to figure out where the buses are and when they go just to get off campus. Freshman year, trying to navigate the fine arts building was definitely the worst thing because it's just, it's like a labyrinth. It's like a maze and you just can't find your way out of it because there are like corridors that just end and you have to like go around but then others go through and it's so confusing as a freshman and you just, <laughs> but now it's kind of cool because then you're like, I know how to get around the fine arts building. <laughs> I get sick and tired of walking upstairs all day. There's hidden staircases and central staircases and staircases that lead to who knows where. I think there's a little bit of a lack of school spirit. A lot of what builds connections are things like athletics, soccer, going to the NCAA tournament. I mean, I think UMC is like a great, great place to be. I'll tell you when I find out, because I've only been here for like a um, but. So, that's pretty much it. What'd you have for breakfast? Blood. Blood of babies. <laughs> I don't eat breakfast. I usually, if I wake up late. I was exercising and eating at the same time. 